What's up, guys? I have a battle here with uh, Dark Legacy 1000, who's from the TPX chat. Um, so I'm just uh, using some more teams that I got from the video two uh, videos ago, and I asked for a battle, and Dark Legacy 1000 was there to respond. Anyway, he did know I was the killer Nacho, so I guess he's all Dustbuster and decided to lead Scizor. It's a pretty good lead because obviously um, Dustbuster can't really do much to Scizor. So I'm just going to go out into Dragon Ball to take the predicted superpower, and um, he doesn't really take it too well since Landorus's defenses are kind of like not a lot. So that sucks. I'm just going going to go for the Stone Edge because um, I don't really know what he's going to do. I know Stone Edge is going to do quite a lot looking at his team to pretty much anything he switches out into. I actually got the prediction right on the Rotom because that's the reason I didn't go Earthquake is because the Rotom has the um, Levitate. So that was pretty nice for me. I even got a crit. So luck favors the bold, man. Luck favors the bold. So anyway, I go for uh, into Politoed. Um, he's going to go for a Hidden Power. Um, and that's not very effective, so I assume it's Hidden Power Ice, and uh, that's pretty nice, because, yeah, I was predicting a water move to hit Landorus. Anyway, he goes for it again, so now I know pretty much that he's Scarfed or something. I'm guessing Scarfed. Um, I guess it... Yeah, it's definitely Scarfed. So I go for Hypnosis, because I thought he'd switch, but he does not, so that kind of sucks. So now I kind of figure he's going to stay in, and... Um, I'm just going to go Scald, uh, but he does not, so that's unfortunate, although I do get a burn on Ferrothorn, but that, at the same time, that kind of sucks, because I would have rather had it asleep, so I don't know. Though, I guess the uh, first Hypnosis miss was kind of beneficial, since then he could have just switched out Rotom and um, used it as Sleep Fodder virtually the entire game, so, oh well. Anyway, I'm just going to go out into Skarmory, because I'm pretty sure I can um, take, you know, the grass move. This is uh, the Swords Dance Gormori I was using the last battle. Um, still pretty good, I think. He's going to go T-Wave, which doesn't really hurt me since, you know, Gormori is a bulky piece of crap anyway. Um, or slow piece of crap, I should say. Um, I'm just going to go for a Swords Dance on the Switch. He ends up going back in a Rotom, and I'm like, oh, crap, because I don't have um, entry hazards up. This thing can keep coming up, and because the rain's up, uh, yeah, it's going to do a lot of damage with pretty much everything. Um, I thought he'd go for the Thunderbolt, you know, since I have two water types in this team, but he ends up going Hydro Pump, which ends up, like, destroying my Seeking. Um, that is a standard um, Agility Seeking, meant to be used in the rain, and hopefully set up with a Electric move. Um, I got it from the guy who it's named after, Bravo Sama, so Bravo Sama, um, good job. Thank you for giving me the set. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to you. Anyway, I know he's locked into Hydro Pump, so I decided to go out into my Politoed, who can take it a little better than my Sea King. Um, I'm just gonna, I went for an Ice Beam, because I thought Ferrothorn, but he ended up going into his own Politoed, so I'm like, oh, cute against cute, and then we both have the great idea, Toxic that piece of crap, because, you know, Politoed is really bulky. I saw that he had Leftover, so I know it wasn't one of those Scarf Politoed sets, and, um, yeah, we both set up Toxic, so that means both of us are not going to have to worry about Politoed too much, since we both are bulky Politoeds, obviously. Anyway, so I guess we both uh, think again, like my, you know, great minds think alike, we both go for the Scald, um, which in the rain still isn't going to do a whole lot, but, um, I guess we're just getting some damage on our Politoeds, uh, that's the point of it. I decided to just keep doing it, because I don't really have anything better to do, I don't really have anything on this team that can take a Scald in the rain that well at this point, so, um, I'm really just kind of forced to keep doing it. He ends up switching, I guess because the toxic damage is getting a little too high for his liking, um, and he goes out into Ferrothorn, uh, which should take the Skull pretty nicely. However, I get a crit, which is awesome, so I've been getting pretty lucky this game. Um, yeah, so that's pretty nice for me. Uh, the Ferrothorn is burned, which, um, you know, is good, because it's a physical attacker, usually. I decide to go out into my, um, what's it? I forget what it's called. Crap, Don Fan, that's it, which I call Charge! Uh, just because when it's burned, I'm not really too afraid of the Power Whip. He does end up going Power Whip, which is uh, kind of annoying, but um, I do take it fairly nicely thanks to Dom Fan's pretty good defense and the fact that the Ferrothorn is burned. Um, so I'm just going to set up my Stealth Rocks because I do not want to let that Rotom come back in because, you know, a Scarf Hydro Pump just scares the shit out of me. Um, so I'm just going to set up the Stealth Rocks. Even if he does go into Fer er, sorry Rotom right now, I do have Ice Shard on this Dom Fan, so it wouldn't have been able to... Um, do anything before I killed it, so uh, I just took the guaranteed KO on Rotom, and he gets another um, power rip off, which is going to do some damage to my Don fan. Anyway, I go for an Earthquake here, hoping to KO the um, Ferrothorn. He ends up just death foddering Rotom, because he knows it's useless at this point, because he doesn't really have a um, spinner on his team. 
Uh, so that's bad news for him. So he goes out into Swampert, I guess, to set up his own rocks. I decided to go out into Politoed just because I want to either put this thing to sleep or toxic it or something. Um, and he ends up going for the Stealth Rock, so that sucks because now he has rocks up too. And I was hoping to get that advantage all to my lonesome, but oh well, it's not the way the cookie crumbled this time. So, um, anyway... I'm just going to uh, actually go for a Scald, because I kind of predict his switch, because, I mean, it's kind of obvious. He doesn't want Toxic or Hypnosis going on his um, uh, Swampert anytime soon, and that's why dual status Politoed is to Epics, and I'm able to take out that Ferrothorn on the switch due to the rain and the fact that he was, like, already pretty weak and stuff. Anyway, so now he goes out on a Scizor, and I, I make a misplay here. This is probably the misplay of the match for me, um, but, you know, sometimes you just do misplays. Um... I just go out into my Don Fan, even though the U-turn was kind of obvious. I don't even know why I went into Don Fan, quite honestly. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but he just goes for the U-turn, and that sucks. Um, I go out into Swampert, or sorry, he goes out into Swampert, and at this point, I'm just kind of figuring he's going to kill me with the Waterfall. So I just... I'm just going to go Rapid Spin, just to get rid of the rocks, and I kind of believe my Politoed should outspeed Swampert, so I'm just going to go back into it after he kills my Donphan, and hopefully this time hit with the Hypnosis to put the thing asleep so it can't uh, set up Stealth Rocks again, so that's what my plan is. I go out into Politoed, and I'm going for the Hypnosis, but I miss! Ah, two Hypnosis misses, although the first one wasn't that bad. This Hypnosis miss really hurt, or Hypnosis miss really hurt, because now he's able to set up the Stealth Rocks again, um, and I was really, really, ho I mean, hoping that I could get the Stealth Rock advantage to myself, but I do not. So now I'm just kind of pissed off. I decided to just go for the Skull to get damage on the stupid Swamper. I end up getting the Burn again, which is like, lols. I'm like, I guess. Um, I guess that makes up for the Hypnosis miss again, so... Ha! Um... Anyway, so he's going to be burned, and because of that, I'm able to live an Earthquake, and I should be able to two-hit KO the Swampert after the burn damage. Uh, so let's see if I do that. I go for the Scald, and I do KO the Swampert after the burn. And unfortunately, he's going to be able to KO my Politoed as well, but uh, that Swampert really didn't have anything else to really deal with it on this team, so... At least there's that. I mean, I kind of go for a water team, but so did he. So he has a lot of Pokemon that can abuse the rain, too. And that kind of didn't work out in my favor this time, because I think he has slightly better, you know, rain abuse Pokemon than I... I mean, his team is actually, I think, all OU, so there's that. So anyway, he goes out on a Scizor here. I go out into Skarmory, predicting the Scizor. He's obviously going to use Super Power, and I thought I could take it pretty well, since this is a bulky Swords Dance Skarmory. Um, I go for a Swords Dance, uh, thinking I could take the Super Power, and I do take it pretty well. Well, and looking at my HP, I believe I can take another one since he's at minus one attack now. And I just kind of have to hope I don't get paralyzed so I can uh, go for Roost, uh, which will basically force him to switch because, you know, at minus two attack, he's really not going to be doing anything. So I go for the Roost, and um, yeah, this is a standard uh, choice ban, Scissor, obviously. Um, so I know he's locked into Super Power, and he's at minus two attack, and he really can't afford to stay in. So, I decide to go Drill Pack on the Switch just to destroy something, since I'm pretty sure I can, except I get Parahaxed, and that's really bad, because now this Politoed comes in. It's faster, probably, thanks to my Paralyze. Um, so, that really blows. I'm just going to stay in and go for the Drill Pack, because I was hoping I'd be able to KO at this point. Um, he goes for the Scald, and I don't get Parahaxed again, which is good for me, except look at this damage. I don't quite kill it, and it's going to be able to survive the Toxic, which is just bad, with a capital B. Um, because I'm going to lose uh, Skarmory. And I basically have to just keep it in. I mean, there's really no point switching it at this point. With a Paralyze, I'm obviously not going to be able to get a Roost off on anything on his team. Um, not to mention, you know... I really don't have anything at this point to take a Scald in the rain. Uh, but at least Politoed's gone, so that gets rid of both of our sleep... Or sorry, that gets rid of his last, like, um... Weather... Rain abuser. He goes in a uh, Scizor here. And I go into, um... This... Sea King, thinking, you know, maybe I can resist the bullet punch and live, but I don't, because Sea King has, like, terrible defenses, hideously defense, hideously undefensive, I should say, um, and I don't survive it, and that blows. Um, I go into Dustbuster because I don't think my Landorus can take a um, choice band 
bullet punch. So my only hope at this point is to trick it the choice scarf. And now I'm just going to stay in and go trick again, obviously, since I'm locked into it. But um, if he wants to go back into his last guy, Dusclops, that would be great for me since that would give him a choice scarf, Dusclops, which is useless. Um, but yeah, so now it's a scarf. Uh, scissor. He's going to go for the bullet punch, and I do live. I wouldn't have lived, I don't think, with the uh, choice band still intact, so it was a good thing that I did sacrifice for it, except the random number generator was in his favor. He survives with just a few hit points, um, and that really blows, because I, I thought I made a pretty nice play there with Furret, um to, you know, do that. And I, fe I felt like his I could um, actually stand a pretty good chance against his last Pokemon, Dusclops, with that um, fair, sorry, with that uh, Landris, because um, that Landris had sub so to evade the uh, Will-O-Wisp and also Swords Dance, so I might have been able to win there at the end if it wasn't for that random um, survive by Scizor. But it was a good game overall. I was actually pretty uh, happy how that um, this team did. Um, I mean, I was playing a team full of OUs. I mean, those are just standard teams, so it was actually pretty fun. Um, I kind of like the team. I might use it again in the future. Um, Definitely, actually, because I kind of want to see what the Sea King can do when it does not die uh, without being able to set up an agility. So, yeah, there's that. It was a fun match. So, um, yeah, uh, he has a channel, but I don't think he posts, he said. So I'll leave the link anyway. So let me think of a question of the day. Hmm. I'm going to use today's question of the day to, um, I don't know, just ask a question that I find uh, I'm just curious about, honestly. Um, how did you find out about my channel? Uh, what was the first battle video maybe you watched of mine? I just kind of want, you know, feedback, seeing how people find me. I mean, um, I never actually expected to get this many subs, so maybe I would like to... Some people would clue me in, um, perhaps, how I'm getting all these subs. So, uh, yeah, today's question of the day is, first, how did you find me? What battle did you watch first? Um, I'm pretty sure most of you are probably going to say the Magikarp vid, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, thanks for the feedback, guys. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and see you guys next time. All right, peace out, homies. Bye.